Hello everyone, this is Mandeep Singh Shekhawat and today we are going to discuss Change Data Capture CDC. You have often heard this term, uh, Change Data Capture, we will try to understand what it is and uh, how it is implemented or how it is deployed and what are the some of the use cases where it is being used okay so if we quickly uh, describe what cd is cdc is or chain data capture is assume that you have a uh, some sort of database or data source okay and uh, whatever is happening in this database uh, you want to notify some of the data consumers so you have two entities one is data source and another one is data consumers okay so whatever update or whatever new thing this, like which is being happening in this database you want to notify the data consumers that let's say a new entry is added okay so this is what we mean by change data capture these basic consumers basically know what is being added removed updated or all, all sort of things okay so this is what we mean by uh, change data capture uh, CTC okay now let's take an example now the example could be uh, this this i also discussed in one of the previous videos the example is that uh, uh, like lot of properties are onboarded onto booking.com okay or uh, assume any uh, hotel reservation system such as airbnb or uh, agoda or an anything like that right so there are lot of properties which are being onboarded and you will store that information in your database okay now the properties are onboarded now whenever the customers are searching okay you have this uh, portal booking.com and on this portal uh, customers are searching for let's say properties in jaipur so jaipur is the location and then you add more filters okay let's say five star properties are pets allowed okay and the pricing should be uh, greater than 1000 and less than 5000 so a lot of filters you can apply okay is breakfast included so a lot of filters you can apply so supporting all these queries uh, on top of database is very hard okay you might uh, think of creating uh, indexes and all but it could really uh, become hard whenever like your these uh, number of filters increase over time so the better way is you support those things via open search or elastic search okay or any of the uh, search use cases where you uh, create an invert, inverted index data structure to store these entries and then that uh, that is more efficient basically i have created multiple videos around it so go check that out if you want to uh, you are, if you are more interested around how these search architectures work okay so the idea is whatever the information is uh, saved into the database okay uh, it is being passed to the elastic search and now how this works is you have some change data capture mechanism in place okay so let's say whatever is being happening is published to kafka from kafka it is being consumed by lambda or any of the uh, conversion layer okay what it does is uh, you have some sort of schema in your database the records which you are publishing and then there is a separate schema on in which the data is stored so you convert the data and then finally you push it to elastic search okay so this is one of the use case where your uh, cdc can be really helpful okay now let's talk about how does it work we already mentioned that you want to publish the update so these are uh, like the three things which could be helpful like either you are creating a new record or you are updating a record okay or you are deleting a record in case of create you could publish the entire record what is being saved to the database in case of update you generally publish both old and new record but this could be depending on the configurations let's say you just want to publish the new one okay so depending on the requirements and like whatever configurations you have uh, this could be the case and in case of delete you publish the deleted record okay so these are the things so all cred operations not just read read i mean uh, whoever is reading uh, that doesn't impact the data where it is being uh, stored somewhere else okay so in the crud uh, c u and d operations are being published via cdc mechanism now how this can be done okay now if you talk about how this can be done uh, we already took one example one example could be that how will these uh, uh, data would be captured okay so these are some of the examples which are there but before it uh, there is one more thing which I wanted to discuss. Okay, there are two types of CDC which could be there. Okay, one is query based and one is log based. Now, in case of query based, the idea is that uh, you you might have some kind of cron job. Okay, you might have some kind of cron job. What it does is it continuously checks for uh, uh, the update 
continuously check for the update in this database okay let's say every uh, 10 seconds it checks for the update in this database and if there are any updates then it publishes to this kafka and then it is further consumed by the uh, data consumers okay so this is one of the approach another approach could be uh, log based okay but before moving to that uh, there are few few issues which could uh, happen with the query based okay and why i will suggest that log based is better but again it could be depending on the use case and that's what we suggest right uh, everything is a trade off and you should always analyze uh, why like particular approach makes sense okay so let's say you implemented this query based approach okay so you do it based on some timestamp or uh, let's say the records which are uh, updated or pushed in last 10 seconds or some increasing identifier that last time i had data up to thousand now i will fetch data which is greater than thousand okay similarly let's say now i have data up to 1010 then i will fetch data more than this 1010 and you run it periodically okay now let's say in this case it will not work for delete operation okay because you that entry is essentially deleted from the database so your this uh, open search or elastic search cluster will not know if the entry is deleted another thing could be you are pulling it at a continuous interval now now let's say there are multiple updates uh, which have happened on a particular entry okay so let's say at two seconds this entry was updated to x then again it was updated to y okay but at the time you are pulling the information the time you are pulling the information uh you only get uh the y y data right this this is skipped okay so these are few of the issues which could occur with a query based approach the better approach is a log based approach again as i said right i should not say a better approach it highly depends on the requirements we have but yeah these are the two issues which could be faced with a query based approach and log based approach solves log based approach is basically based on so whatever is being uh, pushed to a database it is kind of maintained in a log okay so it's a append only file the log file you might have uh, read it about for the transactional databases and all like uh, you any operation you do it is being stored in the log and it is this is also helpful if something goes bad with the database uh, it helps in to recover the data okay so the idea is that your uh, whatever operation is being happening in the database uh, it is appended to the appended in the log file and then from that log file uh, you have that your mechanism in place okay cdc uh, which is being pushed uh, to your kafka or like uh, any any sqs or any uh, like any system which you have from which this cadets can be further pushed to data consumers okay and like how this mechanisms work is this could be highly dependent on like how it is being implemented okay so one of the ways could be let's say this is your relational database so debezium is like a very popular connector uh, what it does is it connects with uh, mysql and then it connects with the kafka it kind of works as a bridge in between these two and it whatever is happening in the database it pushes them to kafka okay this is one of the approach uh, you could probably use sqs okay if you are uh, from the aws and if you use aws side of things uh, you could leverage sqs for the dynamodb if you heard about dynamodb ddb streams is uh what i mean cdc like uh db streams is a cdc feature basically of dynamodb whatever is happening in the dynamodb or the database tables uh, uh whatever update is there it is being published okay so this is all about today's video i hope you liked it it's a pretty short video so i hope you have understood what change data capture is uh, if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, MS Deep Singh, consider subscribing. You will learn a lot of system design and architectural discussions and how you make those decisions based on trade-off analysis. And if you haven't checked out the book System Design on AWS, it is available on O'Reilly as well as Amazon. So go check it out. It will be a great resource in your toolkit. I will meet again with you with more such interesting discussions. Till then, stay safe, Tata. Bye-bye.